time is 11 minutes past the hour of 8 in the morning, local time in Bangkok. Hey guys, Boss Girl here, and for today's video, I will be giving you a full, informational, complete travel guide here in Thailand. So if you want to know more about this, continue watching. This is everything you need before you travel to Thailand. So let's go! So this is Colin Vidal. This driver is a scam. <laughs> First step before I check in is you have to pay your travel tax. So, mga nakalimutan na, um, travel tax it has been a mandatory tax for every international trip na ito take mo. For now, checking in, this is the line situation. This is both for Hong Kong and Bangkok. So, ang onte. Hello! So, sobrang onte. So anyway, we still don't have any energy yet because we literally have like what? 30 minutes of power nap. Oh, 2 a.m. 2.30 a.m. Bising pa rin kami. Online check-in situation. Ay, online. Ano to? Counter check-in. Oh my gosh. Sabahan ako guys. Bye. Time check. 3.07. Been lining up for around 30, 40, almost 40 or more than 40 minutes na. Medyo mababal yung takbo ng linya kasi sa counter pa lang dito, sinecheck na nila yung mga documents. So yeah, nakara nakadaan na rin kami ng immigration earlier. And it went really well. It was super fast for me. It was around 2 minutes lang. Ang mga inas lang sa akin, guys, is kailan yung balik ko. Kung sino yung kasama ko, so I told him siya yung kasama ko. Kung sino siya, I told him na partner ko. That's about it. What he asked from me were my passport, boarding pass. Actually, yun lang. Hindi na nila inask yung mga iba pang Thailand requirements kasi sa check-in counter yun inask. Sa check-in counter naman, guys, ang, mga, ang inask is yung passport and yung Thai pass. I'm gonna be discussing more details about the requirements later on this video. Alam mo si Carl? Naging naglalaro. He's always on his phone, playing games. No kayo sa jowa, na binibigyan kayo ng attention. So soon ni. Go find a boyfriend who can give you attention and time. It's not every day that you will travel together in an international country. This time is so precious. It's not every day that you eat noodles in an international departure boarding area. And yet here he is playing. And as of now, Carl is still playing. You don't talk, you don't love me. Always playing. You can always talk to your phone. here in the baggage claim area. This is already the stamp from the Thailand immigration. So hey guys, for the travel requirements, take note nyo, this might not be the updated travel requirements while you are watching this. You may check this website. I always refer to this website, Cebu Pacific, for checking the updated travel requirements going to anywhere in the Philippines or in the world. So as of now, as of May 2022, ito yung mga travel requirements in going to Thailand. So first guys, in accomplishing the requirements for your trip to Thailand is prepare the necessary documents. So first of course, a passport. Valid passport is should have a validity period of not less than 6 months before expiry date. Second is a certificate of vaccination. So certificate of back vaccination, hindi siya yung papel na binibigay nung time na nag-vaccine kayo. You have to register it online sa VaxCert PH. Third document that is needed is a COVID-19 insurance with a minimum coverage of 10,000 USD. Paano makakuha ng COVID-19 insurance? Marami siya online. For me, I purchased my 
insurance here in this website. Mura lang siya guys actually. If you're gonna stay for less than 7 days, hindi siya lalagpas ng 2K. So, ayan yung sample niya. Diba? Mura lang siya. Isipin nyo na lang, protection din nyo yun. Kasi, once na sa Thailand kayo, what if makakuha kayo ng COVID sa Thailand, at least, this insurance will cover your medical expenses. Second naman, na documents part, if hindi kayo fully vaccinated, will be a passport, a negative RT-PCR test, and again, a COVID-19 insurance. So, take note you guys, kung hindi kayo fully vaccinated, instead of preparing the certificate of vaccination, ang kapalit nun is the negative RT-PCR test that is issued within 72 hours before departure. All of these documents already prepared. Sign up for the Thailand Pass. Ito yung link, guys. Nandyan din siya sa caption below. Signing up sa Thailand Pass is very, very easy. It will just take you 5 to 10 minutes to fill it up. It will just ask for your travel information, your basic information, and yung documents na kakasabi ko lang kanina. Then that's it. Yun lang. <laughs> So my highly recommended bank for you to withdraw your money is... First one is Bank of Bank, second one is CM Bank. This is the main one because this, this one supposedly has the lowest exchange rate. Lowest exchange rate, right? Best exchange rate. CM has the second best exchange rate. Okay, so this is the first one. And we actually withdraw it yesterday yes. and there is only like a... 220... No, no. Withdrawal fee. Yes. Per transaction. So it's better to always maximize the withdrawals. Yeah, so what we did is the maximum amount is 25,000 baht. So as you can see... Bangkok Bank has 0.87% exchange fee and CM has 1.05 exchange fee. So we bought the two move by Land Tourism. The 8 days package but as of now there's like a promo that extended yung 8 days to 16 days. So it's at 300 baht. It already includes non-stop internet, then free data for 14 social media apps, free credit, blah blah blah. So I'm just gonna show the poster here for your reference. Where we bought it? Here in 7-Eleven. And they have a bunch of more packages, longer days if you're staying in Thailand longer. Ayan siya. In order for you to buy one, you have to present your passport for registration. Sila na bahala mag-register basta present mo lang yung passport to them. Okay, so we're now going to our very first destination, tourist attraction here in Bangkok. How to get there? There are several ways going there, but me and Car prefer to just ride a taxi for convenience. It's actually taxis here in Bangkok are actually really cheap. So yeah, we're using the Grab app and our our fare is just 100 <laughs> baht to 150 baht so it's not bad diba and we're already two okay checking in our room Ooh. wow so this is our room guys with this view <laughs> Hello, Bangkok! Oh my gosh, we're on the 29th floor. Halos top na siya ng, ng hotel na to. So nice! The bathroom is here! With a view as well! So you can put this up. And you have this view. The exchange tower. <laughs> but cute! It's so aesthetic. I actually did a lot of research about what hotel to book with the consideration of having a perfect view. The Continental is one of the top most recommended when it comes to that feature. Wow! If you could check actually Pinterest, Instagrammable Hotel, etc. Continent, the Continent is one of the most recommended. Actually, it's really cheap. We booked this room for 7,400 baht. That's already for two nights. So that's already how much in peso? 11,000 only! Grabe! So this is already luxury! Luxury! Luxury experience for just 11,000 pesos! Generally speaking, ang Thailand talaga very cheap. Makakapag luxury experience ka na on a budget. So you click that and... Voila! Wow! Automatic shape. But it's slow. But it's fine. Yeah, boy! Uh-huh. That's my shit. All the boys in me my and hand my heart uh uh and at home on ha ha. Good morning guys. It's almost like 9 a.m. and then pala kami mag-breakfast. We are entitled with a buffet breakfast here in the 35th floor and 
This is unusual. So we're having salad, croissant, tomato, sausage, fried rice, another salad. Carl also ordered the same one as mine, pero merong tomato and ham. How was it? Yeah. Good. Hey guys. So we just checked in. <laughs> Hey! So initially we booked dorm type double bed, but I can't say unfortunately because it's fortunately hindi, hindi naging available yung room, room na yun. That's why we had a free upgrade to a private room. So we paid 2300 for two nights. So that's like 1150 for a night for two of us already. The location is actually really perfect. It's in the middle of Kausan. Road and Kausan Road is known for good food and good party life. So yeah, simply lang, but it's fine. We're not really choosy. Okay, so it's very late already. It's around 10 p.m. in the evening, and we are just about to check in on our last hotel here in Thailand. So we book a place here in the V Hotel. Ito yung reception nila. Grabe, pagpasok pa lang sobrang bang na. Excited! Yes. Yeah. Excited but tired and hungry. Yeah, same. Reception check. Ang ganda, guys. Go inside our room. So, it's this suite. Wow. Uy! Wow! I thought this is the bed, the bed already, but no. Guys, akala ko bed na. Meron kaming sala. And we also have a bedroom, separate bedroom. So for a while, I'll just settle down. Then I'm gonna give you guys a proper room tour. Let's go. As promised, I'm giving you a room tour before we settle, settle down. Akala mo bedroom na. But, chilling! We have here an office table. Living room over there, good for what six people or more. Then we have here, ayan, meron tayong coffee maker. Parang bahay siya, parang apartment siya in a way, pero times 10 better. <laughs> then over here is again our living room. Meron kami ayan, welcome, dessert and fruits. There's a TV over here. Now let's move on to our bedroom. So dalawang pintuan ng bedroom namin. First is this one, <laughs> and second is this one. <laughs> this is our bedroom again with the cabinet. A spring bed lab. Yes! Oh my gosh! Malambot ang bed! Front of it is the TV. Let's check how soft the pillow is. Oh my god, love! See that? Lumulubog yung... <laughs> ang lambot! And hello. Hello, lobby. <laughs> Get a boyfriend that is very supportive na talagang magtatago pag nag room tour. <laughs> Ang laki niya guys, no? Grabe, 3 minutes na ako nag room tour. May mga cabinets pa here, cabinets over here. Then let's now move on to our bathroom. Ang laki ng salamin, wow. Marble. Ooh, mas mahal pa yata to kaysa sa buhay natin. Charing. We have a bathtub. Bathtub, a shower, and ihian. Magkahiwalay sila. So, shall... So nice lang. No, I don't want to leave Bangkok anymore. See you forever. ko sa inyo yung view na hindi nakita kagaha, kagabi when we were checking in because gabi na nga. So this is woo, our view. It's a 180 degree view of Bangkok City since merong part dito, there's another part there, and another part over there. So this is the view on the other side. We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me Blowing up a thunder, wash it over me We got everything 
Okay guys, kakatapos na namin mga Grand Palace. Ito na lang yung mga pictures na kuha namin. To be honest, hindi siya nakaka-enjoy. <laughs> ang daming tao, sobrang init, ang daming mong lalakarin. Sobrang haggard ko na nga. Ang mahal pa kasi 500 baht, so that's around what, 750? No? That's around 750. I mean, it's a good experience for those na first time travelers dito sa, sa Bangkok. Take note guys, a uh, word of advice from me, try to avoid na magde-deal sa mga truck drivers or taxi dito kasi alam nila na turista ka so they might maximize yung pagka unaware mo sa mga bagay-bagay. So for example, yung mga fares, better siguro if you just book your taxi sa Grab na lang para iwas overcharge. A while ago, nagtanong si Carl papunta sa accommodation. And 400 baht yung inaasamin. So that's like... Times 8. Times 8. Research ahead para hindi kayo ma madali. How to get there? We again booked a grab and we only paid for 120 baht. So it's really cheap, di ba? 180 pesos. Yeah, the fare the here is really really affordable. Kaya... And aside from affordable, it's very convenient to just book a grab going to the place rather than commuting, diba? But of course, if you're really on a budget, you can commute. And commuting around Bangkok is actually not that complicated. Very accessible and daming mga MRT stations around and hindi siya hassle. So take note guys, mas strict sila sa dress code here. And shoulders should not be seen. And para actually pinapa close nila to konte. I think this is also too much. You need to cover that. Yeah, this one. The guys, please wear um, pants and girls long dresses, but not not too much skin, basically. And guys needs to wear long pants and no sandals. Yeah, no sandals. Aside from the temples, guys, marami din actually pwedeng puntahan. We also went to Chato Chak for ultimate shopping. Ito yung pinaka-best shopping experience I had. One of the best, let's say, in my whole life. You can check my TikTok account for a more detailed guide in Chato Chak. Nag-post ako nyan, guys. And also, we went to the floating market, which I currently don't recommend yet. Kasi nung pumunta ko, first is na-scab kami. <laughs> And I will be posting this on another vlog. And second, the whole floating market experience was so so because wala pang masyadong shops na bukas. When COVID happened, and daming nagsara. So up till now, hindi pa nagere open most of the shops. So parang nag cross ka lang sa river ng you know, floating market river. We also swing by Make Long Railroad, which is also one of the most visited tourist attraction before. It's a perfect place to visit if you're also going going to floating market but if sasadyain nyo tong place na to alone, hindi siya worth it kasi sobrang layo niya. Kapalit ng transportation ng time and effort mo is that 10 second experience na dumaan yung train sa harap mo. This is actually really fun but then again, if you will compare it to your expenses, medyo hindi siya, you know, worth it based on my personal experience. It's our last day here in Thailand, and we are currently having our antigen tested. That is part of the travel requirements going back to the Philippines. So it's either you get an RT-PCR test that is taken 72 hours before your flight, or an anti antigen test, but it has to be taken one day before your flight. So we took the antigen test because mas madali siya and mas mura, of course. What we did is we just googled. Na Google lang kami ng pinaka nearest na hospital from our hotel and antigen test cost 500 pag walang medical certificate but it's gonna be 800 pag kasama na medical certificate One, two, three, sorry. Finish? thank you so when is the result result 10 minutes in 10 minutes thank you so the result is actually gonna be released in just 10 minutes after na mag antigen agad agad na kaming nag fill up ng one pass, this one. Agad-agad na namin para makuha na kagad namin yung QR code and wala na kaming isipin onwards. Right after ma-fill up mo yung pass na to, makukuha mo na kagad yung QR code mo, yung one pass QR code mo. So basically, that's it. You just need negative test result, either RT-PCR or antigen, and this one pass if fully vaccinated individual. But if you're not, I'm gonna just link down the requirements below 
under Cebu Pacific. This is for those na hindi pa naka fully va- hindi pa fully vaccinated or not vaccinated at all. Uh, on a regular basis actually guys, ina-update to ni Cebu Pacific. So always ako nagre-refer sa website na to if kailangan ko ng information about any travel requirements going to somewhere. So alam niyo na guys, so di ba? Dito lang sa link na to guys, andiyan na lahat. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-Google or research kasi kompleto na talaga to and always nila ina-update talaga. Okay, the time has come and we're about to check out and leave for Philippines. <sighs> Finally, after what? It's been 18 days, I think, for the whole trip and feel namin parang haba and ang dami talaga namin na experience and nakakatawa, just ko Lord. 